Hello, I'm Sharon Albert, Director of the Mission Trails Regional Occupational Program. The program you're about to see is a production of the Mission Trails Digital Media Network. This production features local students engaged in the California State Career Technical Education Pathway, Arts, Media, and Entertainment. A special thanks to the Media Center for Art, Education, and Technology, a department of the Monterey County Office of Education, for making this broadcast possible. Thank you for watching. Now let's enjoy the show. Cowboys. I'm Brianna Eckhouse, starting your day the cowboy way. For those trying out for cheer in the 2017-2018 season, please return tryout packets to the athletic office. If you were unable to attend the meeting, tryout packets can be picked up in the athletic office. The blood drive is April 5th. Sign-ups are being taken in front of ASB at lunch. Are you interested in being a class officer or ASB executive? Make a difference for your class next year. Applications are available in ASB. Seniors, clearance cards will be circulated among the attendance, finance, community service, library, and textbook for signatures before given to you in May. The more signatures that these offices can sign off, the smoother the process will be for you. Please be proactive in returning overdue books, paying dues, completing community service hours, and clearing all your attendance. If you want more information on options for college, complete community service, engage with students from other schools, and travel to Philadelphia and New York next spring break, then the Dream Academy is for you. Visit www.svdreamacademy.org to apply. There are 582 seniors at SHS right now. 260 of those have not completed their community service requirement for graduation. The due dates for turning in community service forms for graduation is May 8th, and the due dates for turning in community service form for awards is May 1st. Come to the Career Center for more info. Attention seniors, if you are admitted to CSUMB and, a plan, and plan to attend this fall, come to ASB at lunch on Tuesday, April 4th. An admissions person from CSUMB will be there to go over important information. Don't forget that morning tutorial is open on Tuesday and Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7.40 a.m. in room 113 for help in math. It is open to all students, especially SHS athletes. Have a great week, Cowboys. Coach Padilla, Hi, nice how you doing, you. man? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. All right, man, I have a couple questions for you. Um, how do you feel about your opponents this year? Uh, all of them? In yeah, all of them. It's a great competition. They're all great teams. We're going to have a great competition and throughout this whole week. All right, that's <laughs> cool. That's cool. Yeah. Um, what do you expect uh, your team to accomplish? Uh, to win. That's what we want. And um, all my ladies are well prepared, and they're going to have a great time playing. Do you believe your team will have a good record this year? Most definitely. Always have faith in my girls. All right. Do you have anything to say to your opposing teams? Um, good luck. There you have it, guys. Padilla. Nice to meet you. Thank Thanks, you. man. Hi, Cowboys. This is Mrs. Peterson. Would you like to give us a little background about yourself? I really would. I, I'm, a, um, I'm a country girl, actually. I'm from a teeny little town in Northern California where my grandfathers were both lumberjacks. And I grew up being in the outdoors and riding horses and being um, carefree. And then when I went to college, I went to UC Santa Cruz and I at that time had three little kids and I went to UC Santa Cruz and I graduated from there and I became an English teacher in the Santa Cruz Mountains. How would you describe your leadership style? My leadership style is inclusive leadership and that is try to get everybody involved who wants to be involved because a leader begins with everybody and it's not just the leader. Um, 
I really appreciate all the cowboys that have come forward, the students who have leadership abilities who have come forward, such as the people who do Cowboy TV. I appreciate the ASB. I also appreciate all the teachers who have contributed so many hours to developing a system of intervention and systems of giving the kids the best thing, the education that we can give them. Okay. When did you start teaching before you became a principal? I started teaching in 1986. I started teaching high school English um, in the Santa Cruz Mountains at a school named San Lorenzo Valley. I loved it. I had a great time there. The students were um, lovers of nature, of science. They were interesting. They loved poetry, and I enjoyed it immensely. Who encouraged you to become a big impact to students' lives? Well, I had a superintendent in San Lorenzo Valley who told me it was time for me to become a principal. And I said, oh no, I'm fine being a teacher. And he said, oh no, you need to be a principal. So he gave me a job without even a credential to be an administrator at San Lorenzo Valley. So I be, became an administrator and eventually I got my administrative credential. And then I moved to Alicel because I always wanted to be with a Spanish-speaking population. Why did you decide to come to Salinas High? So I wanted to be at Salinas High because I wanted to follow my Broncos. I was the principal of Washington Middle School for years, and then um, when the job at Salinas High came open, I thought, you know what, I want to be with the kids that I've um, been with for all those years. And so there's a group that graduated last year that I was with them from 7th through 12th grade. And then this year's graduating class is my last class that I was also the principal at their middle school. So it's a good time for me to leave. What would be your favorite memory here in Salinas High? I, I have one of my favorite memories is Mr. Felice sitting, setting me down in my office when I first got the job and telling me the history of Salinas High. That was really special to me because I felt like I'm going to be part of this very long tradition where the community loves and supports their school. And I thought, wow, I could make a difference and I can be here and tend to the traditions that have already been established and maybe start some of my own. And another time I really loved it was the first time I went out to the farm. Being an outdoor girl, the whole idea of there being a farm, there is a farm on this campus. There are my students go to a farm to learn. To me, that was really exciting. Oh, one more thing. I also loved when we went to NorCal and Santa Clara University in basketball year before last. I loved being a part of that team. How beautiful. Any last words you would like to say to your Cowboy students? Yeah, do the best you can. And remember that you are the leader. You are the leader. And nobody else can educate you but you. And you're in charge of yourself. And be a leader and be the best you can. And don't worry what other people think about you. Don't worry, it, it doesn't matter because who you go to bed with every night is yourself and who you wake up every morning is with yourself. Yeah. Do the best you can. And also, remember to love. All right, thank you mm -hmm. for your time. Mm -hmm. Howdy Cowboys, my name's Emma Garcia, here today with Tiam, who is our who is the senior class valedictorian, and Mika, who is the salutatorian. And to start off our interview, why is Mr. Rodriguez your most influential teacher? Well, I was never a fan of English, and I actually really hate writing and reading. But I decided to take his class just to challenge myself. And over the course of the year, I, although I can't say I love writing and reading, I don't hate it as much thanks to his help and his instruction. Um, I think A-Rod's my favorite teacher because I was in his poetry club last year and this year, which is, or the Creative Writing Club. So he's just been actually a really great mentor in that, and also his class is really fun, and he's taught me a lot. And how does it feel to be the valedictorian and, for you, the salutatorian? Well, I haven't gotten any superpowers that make uh, test taking easier, so I guess everything's still the same. <laughs> Um, I think it's a little bit nerve-wracking to be salutatorian, but it's also kind of cool because I guess I get to give a speech, so, yeah. And so, what is your favorite ROP class? Well, I only took one ROP class, uh, which was uh, <laughs> business tech, where I learned how to use uh, Microsoft programs and type a little better. Nice. 
I also only took one, which was theater tech, but even if I had taken more, I feel like it'd still be my favorite because Mr. E is super cool and I'm learning how to do things other than like read a book and write and do math. And I feel like I'm learning actual life skills because I was super incompetent before. Nice. Um, so what advice do you have for freshmen? Well, try your best, I guess. You know what you're capable of you're capable of so just challenge yourself and try to do the best you can i'd say really reach out to your teachers because i feel like some of like the best friends i guess i made in school were my yeah. teachers so it's super cool to be able to connect with them so like just talk to your teachers they're people too yeah um so was it worth taking all those ap classes i think that's the real question do you value sleep that's the <laughs> first question <laughs> but yeah i guess uh, i i improved my skills and like like I said English with Mr. Rodriguez and I've challenged myself by uh, writing a lot more with Mr. Moore for example so I guess it, taking AP classes was helpful and th there's also the added bonus of a GPA bump and uh, potential college credits. I mean yeah I'm sitting here as salutatorian so I guess I'd have to say it was worth all the AP classes but also I really learned um, what my limits are and that I can actually like push myself outside my comfort zone because a lot of the AP classes really challenged me, but I overcame all that, so I'd say it's worth it. Nice. Um, and so what would you do differently if you had to start high school all over? Maybe have a little more fun and actually read a book or two during freshman year? <laughs> I'd probably say the same thing, I guess. Have a little more fun my first three years because I took everything really seriously, but like looking back on it, stressing over all those tests and papers, I don't think actually improved my grades on them that much. So just try to relax a little bit. That's really good advice. Um, so what college are you guys going to? Have you decided yet? Uh, I've been accepted to UCLA, UC Irvine, and Cal Poly and still waiting to hear from uh, UC Berkeley and Stanford. Until then, I haven't made my decision. Which one? Which one are you more? Which one is your favorite? I should say, out of those group, out of all those. Uh, Stanford would be nice. Yeah, Stanford would be nice. Of course, it would. Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> um, what about for you? I haven't gotten results back from Berkeley yet, but if I get accepted to Berkeley, I'm definitely going to Berkeley. If not, um, I'll go to UC Davis. Nice. And so, have you decided on a major? I That's a real big question. I just put in biomedical engineering because I love science and math. So just start there, and then if I have to change it later on, I can. Nice. I put chemical engineering because I had a lot of fun in CP and AP chemistry. So I guess I really like that subject, and I'm good at math too. So works out. Um, so how have you looked at, at a debit calculator, or or is money no issue? Uh, since I. Since college is expensive, uh, I have unfortunately have to look at a debt calculator, and the numbers are pretty big, so hopefully I get some scholarships. I haven't really looked at a debt calculator because my stepdad um, used to be a Marine, so I get um, the nice military grants and yeah. tuition is covered, so I don't actually have to look at it that much, but I'm still trying to look at scholarships just to help lighten the load even more. Yeah. Um, um, well, that wraps up our interview, so do you guys have any shout-outs you guys want to say to any of your teachers or admin or anyone or friends? Hi. <laughs> okay, I'd like to make a shout-out to my best friend, Taina, for being really supportive and for Colin and Efren because they're super cool and I just met them this year. <laughs> All right, and this is your valedictorian and salutatorian. See you guys next time, Cowboys. <laughs>